Kayo kasi, mga media ng Dabao, kayo nag-imbintong ng term ng Dabao with squad. Yung isang senador, yan ang yan ang nakaupo dyan, si Senator De La Rosa. Bitch squad rin yan. <laughs> Lahat itong sa right side ko, dumaan ito ng chief of police, police director. Poro, commander ng death squad dyan. Meron akong death squad. Death squad. Ito, pero hindi yung mga polis. Pag pumasok kayo dyan sa druga, kayo ang mauuna. We all heard from the horse's mouth that there are indeed dead squads and pointed to certain former PNP chiefs or chiefs of Davao. These are very clear. Davao death squad to liquidate criminals, allow suspected criminals. Siguro sa amin dito, the now General Coy, Jel Gamboa was never a chief of police, but aside dyan sa Davao, sa Police General Office 11, ako, aside ako na Davao as City Director, at doon ako nagsimula yung karir ko sa Davao City. Just this weekend, Mr. Chair, in-interview ako ng mga media ng Davao, tumungay ako. At harap-harapan, sinabihan ko sila, Kayo kasi, mga media ng Dabao, kayo nag-imbinto ng term ng Dabao Dead Squad. Pag may namatay, binabalita kagad yun, Dabao Dead Squad, Dabao Dead Squad. Kayo, nag-imbinto ng term na yan, sabi ko sa media ng Dabao. And later on, one of the media ng Dabao, dinibag yung aking, uh, aking statement. Sabi niya, sir, with, with due respect, Bago namin yan na-create yung uh, na term na yan ng Davao Dead Squad, meron kasing isang namatay, Mr. Uh, sir, na isang namatay, binaril, may nakalagay doon na placard na Davao Dead Squad, kaya doon nag-start yung paggamit namin ng term ng Davao Dead Squad. So therefore, sabi ko, okay, I will correct my statement. Hindi kayo ang nag but kayo ang nag-propagate ng word na yan. So yun na, lumaki na, na nagiging uh, ginamit niya pag may, pag may binaril sa bilik agad, Davao Dead Squad. Kahit na uh, binaril na uh, dahil uh, genocide ang uh, motibo, o kaya malaking utang, nakadispag ko ng pera, binaril, diniis ka agad ang uh, pinapalabas sa term. So yan na, lumaki na yung pangalan na Davao Dead Squad, Mr. Jet. Doon sa, sa umami na naging chief, sino? Lalo. Chief? Katilino Koy, naging chief ka. The Danao, the chief kayo. Do you mind or don't you mind having been called as uh, the head of the double death squad by the former president? I think he's just joking there. Pero kaya nagkagaya nga po ang sinabi ng ating uh, mayor, sir. Uh, in my stint of almost three years as uh, the city director of Davao, uh, wala ko talaga yan yung sasabihin na you kill him, kill him. wala ko gano'n siya. So it's just a matter of taking things on your hand. If you will take it literally, yung sinasabi niya sa media. Kung ano yung sinasabi niya ng interview, yun na yung sinasabi niya. Pero yung kamang sasabihin niya na, o na na, patay yung musika nito, there's no such thing. Yan. So walang, walang ganun. Is, is there a danger that your men will, will incorrectly interpret what the mayor was saying? Well, nung panahon ko siya na city director, I don't deny sir that there were some killings, pero talagang ang tao ko sir, ilan din ang hospital niya. Even in my term as my regional director of 4A and NCRPO and MPD, 
On record yan sir, nasa hospital. Hindi lang sir nasa hospital, kung hinamatay yung polis natin. So anong gagawin sir ng polis pag ikaw ang nasa sitwasyon namin sir? Are we going to allow just to kill the BNP there? So siguro sir, uh, maging emotional lang tayo dito sir, pero kami po mismo ay nasa front line in enforcing the law. Pero, pero there's no such thing as sabihin na takayin mo lang si ganito, no? Walang gano'n, sir. Sige. Can we hear from Katalin Lukoy? Thank you, Mr. Jarnay. I might very much be being associated with the DDS because uh, uh, during that time, and I was the city director of that, but it was really a problem for us, uh, especially the uh, unsolved killings. Actually, we had a case in Ombudsman because of that, because of my responsibility. It is really a challenge for the PNP to investigate those cases because uh, even the relatives of some of the victims used to cooperate. And uh, we, we believe also, and we, there was a suspicion that uh, there were really some uh, the personnel and even some civilian individuals who were uh, involved in those uh, incidents. Thank you, sir. Okay, Senator Jingo, you have uh, last five minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, with the intelligence of the SP Pro Tempore. Say, so, Senator Aguisa. Apo, uh, Mr. Chair, kasi siguro napansin, pati ng former president, yung shock ng lahat. Bakit, sir, yan ba ang trabaho ng police na pumatay ng mga suspected criminals? Pagtumaban. Sir, yung mic nyo. Pagtumaban. Bakit Iba po yung pagka-express kasi kanina, so I have to clarify. Sa Bakit siya lang? Bakit siya lang? Salamat mo sa No, no, no. Hindi yan ang tanong ko. Uh, talagang, ano, uh, maling, napaka hindi magandang impression po ng mga statements uh, kanina. Kaya I appreciate the candor of uh, Yusef Kuy at pati kanina ni, ni uh, General Danao. Uh, Look, ma'am, may I interrupt you? I'm done, Mr. Chair. Kindly. Now, itong sorry. mga ito, ma'am, galing ito ng mga isa academy PMA, hindi ito mga bubo, hindi rin ito papayag na utusan mo ng illegal. Doon na sa academy nila, sa PMA, They are going there to, yung, ano talaga yung batas. Kaya pag inutok sa'yo mo yan, sabihin mo, patayin mo sa'yo, sir. Uh, Bukong hindi po ito yan, sir. I tried. Ako mismo, I tried. Ako, marami ang patayin mo sa'yo. Sir. Kulungan uh, lang natin, sir. Ah. Uh, Bawas sabi ko siya, siguraduhin mo lang na hindi marili. Kasi gagawa ng kalukuhan yan ulit. And they will mag-hold up na naman yan. Yan ang sinabi. Lalo na yung mga kaso na mag-knockout mag tapos mag-grade tapos magpatay o mag- Mr. Chair, They can be let the president complete his sentence. Uh, what would you like to say, sir? That yes. Pagka uh, mag-grave, magpatay, magnapaw, magpatay, and then what do we do with that? Ganun na lang ang... Ganun na lang ang sadness ko sa trabaho ko. Thank you. Uh, Kaya hindi ko lang masa... Hindi, hindi kay... Sinabi ko yan kasi hindi ko lang na sila mautosan ng ganun na gaya na sinabi ko. At in a grave ng bata yung pinatay, patayin mo. Hindi ko mautusan itong mga to. Eh, sabi ko, karamihan, hirap yung may hirap. Eh, hindi manuwa na yan, gano'n, gano'n. Sabi mo na, sir, eh, mahirap yan. Eh, kulungin na lang natin siya. Wala, dumaan yan sa natin. There was never a time na sinabi ko, patayin ninyo yan. Minsan yung harap-harapan sa crime scene, nakita ko yung bata, three years old, ray patay tapos nandoon yung chewing. 
तो सेना के गुप्त होता है आउट ऑफ आउटरेज इन द मोमेंट ऑफ आउटरेज यू फिर खुलूंगे ना 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 देने से ano na yari dun sa president yung incident nila kapatay ng yung yung tito pilatay hindi hindi Mr. Chair yes Senator Lisa uh, alam na alam ko po na matatali ng mga taga Philippine military academy hindi po yan ang issue ang ang kinaklarify ko po ay kanina sinabi niyo na inencourage niyo ang PNP na i-encourage yung suspect na lumaban yes. para mapatay, para yes. masabi ng laban. Correct. Correct. Ito para na ma-minimize correct. Very incorrect. Yes. Very incorrect. Yes. Po, I may say it's as a civilian, sa professional police. It's, it so depends on any, even, ano na natin yan, no? that's your view of that. Right? It's not my view, Mr. Chair. Thank you for being Hindi ka dumaan pagka mayor, pagka prosecutor. <laughs> Ako alam ko, duman ako, prosecutor, mayor, presidente, alam ko ang trabaho ko. Uh, yes, yan ang totoo ko dyan. Hindi ka nagdala ng sudad eh. You never Ito had a chance to solve the problem of the community. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Thank Senator you for is, putting it on the record. Hindi tayo makitindihan dyan. Senator Estrada has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Papalikin ako, Sir. Kakawain ko uli yan. Meron akong death squad death squad pito pero hindi yung mga polis Ito na guys, ang legit na lalong magpapain love sa partner mo Ang Sweet Night Fragrance Collection na nangungunang bumibenta ng 1.9 million sa TikTok shop Siyempre kasama ang favorite flavor na whipped vanilla and spice Wild Vanilla at ang Men's Blue 99 pesos lang Pero legit na amoy mayaman at recommended by influencers So order ka na? Meron akong Death Squad Death Squad Pito pero hindi yung mga polis Sila rin yung mga gangster yung isang gangster, utusan ko. Patayin mo yan, kay kung hindi mo patayin yan, patayin kita ngayon. Bakit mo isakripisyo yan sila? Alam mo, sir, ganito, ha? Mabuti na lang nandito, if you give me time. Ang puli, sir, kawawa. Hindi mo alam, pag na... Ito, nandito, itong mga... Pag ang pulis na pahilan ng kaso, sir... Suspended yan. Wala ng pagkain yan sa... The day that the suspension is uh, issued, that day ang polis wala ng pagkain ang mga pamilya nila, wala ng pera ang mga bata wala nang pamasahe, hinto lahat. Paralyze ang pamilya ng polis. Hindi ninyo alam yan. Kaya may kaibigan kayo ng polis, tanungin ninyo. Yan ang buhay ng polis. Kaya protektado ko yan sila. Pagka in the fulfillment of duty, sabi ko sa kanila, mag Pakamatay ako sa inyo. Pero pag nag-abuso kayo, nagpatay kayo ng tao, nag-hold up kayo, nag-kidnap kayo, putang ina ako mismo ang papatay sa inyo. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President okay, ako muna may tanong. Kasi medyo nalito rin po ako. So, ibig sabihin na uh, gusto niyo proteksyonan yung polis, ayun yung silang gamitin sa maipit sila kasi kung masuspend sila, kawawa pamilya niya. Tapos nabanggit nyo, may sarili kayo ngayong tinayo na hit squad. Is that, is, that your, is that what you're trying to tell us? Para hindi po ta kami nalilito po. I mean, can we be very clear? Hindi naman. Sa, sa, salitang, uh, salitang, ano po ito? Salitang diretsyo. Opo. Hindi naman dead squad. Basta alam ng tao sa Dabao na nadyan ako. 
at magkamali ka and you commit a heinous crime at walang mapuntahan yung walang mapuntahan yung agrabyado ako yan and then how do you remedy the situation Mr. President or how did you remedy those situations na nalapitan ka when I am called for another investigation sir sabihin ko hindi nga, hindi, 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 hindi ko muna ito drama. Tanongin ninyo ako, tanongin ninyo ako ulit, tapos, uh, well, my experience, 73 years old na ako, sir. Eh. So, in a few years, two, three years, uh, may sakit na rin ako. Gusto ko iwanan yung lahat para malaman. Lahat itong sa... Right side ko, dumaan ito ng chief of police, police director. Puro commander ng death squad dyan. I thought there was no assistance. Trabaho ng police dyan. Literally, hindi ko sabihin ng death squad yung isang senador, yan ang nagkakaupo dyan, si Senator De La Rosa. Big squad rin yan. Because they were police directors handling the uh, controlling crimes in the city. So, pag sinabi mong dead squad, it's a very loose term na ginagamit mo lang parang gano'n isin yan. Lahat yan sila, ikoy ito, si Dandaw, ayan mo. Ayan mo, nagdasal, kasi sa kasaraan na niya siguro. O parang bang, sila mo, pinatay mo. Dumaan yan. Eh, ito, De La Rosa. Tanungin ko sila ngayon, tanungin ninyo. Openly, lahat yan, dumaan pagka-police chief. Pariyan si Ikong Buwa. Tanong yun ninyo. Danaw, kung may utos ba ako na patayin ninyo yung tao na katali, yung paa, pati kamay, sa likod, or assassinate them. Ang sinabi ko, ganito, parangkahan tayo, encourage the criminals to fight encourage them to draw their guns. Yan, buhay yan. Ayan na sila, yan, yan ang instruction ko. Pati yan si Kuy. Encourage, pati yan si Dila Rosa, encourage them lumaban. Pagka lumaban, patay ninyo para matapos na ang problema ko sa siyudad ko. Noong na presidente ako, ganun rin sa command conference. Diyan sa Malacanian. Yan ang utos ko. Bakit ko pagbigyan important? Mag-criminal, they go after the innocent people, rubbing. Mabuti na lang sana kung aakyat ng bahay. Mayor ako matagal. Aakyat ng bahay. Magnakaw. Re-rapin yung bata, re-rapin yung babae, tapos papatayin. Kung ikaw ang mayor, how do you deal with the problem? Ano Mr. kaya ang matingin ma ninyo sa... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm sorry to, to express to the, to the nation. Unforgiving ako. Hardliner. Alam nila yan. Pati polis. Pati polis alam nila. Uh, they are not uh, ready siguro to talk about it. Sinabi ko yan sa mga polis. Putang ina kayong mga polis. Pag pumasok kayo dyan sa droga, kayo ang mauuna. We all heard from the horse's mouth that there are indeed dead squads and pointed to certain former PNP chiefs or chiefs of Davao. These are very clear. 
the Vow Death Squad to liquidate criminals, Allah suspected criminals, inducing, encouraging, and prodding people to kill directly or indirectly is not part of the duty of an executive official, whether it is mayor or president. Malinaw po, yung Davao Death Squad anjan. Marami pong sinabi dyan tungkol sila Matobato and Las Canyas. And, and Colonel Garma has uh, uh, confirmed that there is such a group, only that they are covered by code of silence. Hindi po madali talaga ang kumuha ng mga pag-aamin sa mga police officials na sila ang mga inutusan para pumatay. Ang dami pong mga dinarate sila Matobato and Las Canyas tungkol sa mga specific cases of killings na yung order either pinapadaan kina Sonny Beneventura or kay Las Canyas and at times even from then Mayor Mr. Duterte Chair, himself. I'm sorry to interrupt Thank you, ma'am. good senator. Yes, yes, you have the floor, you have the floor. Go ahead. The uh, former senator is jumping into conclusion. Let the committee decide whether uh, uh, indeed the, the, there is an existence of uh, the uh, Davao Death Squad. Uh, uh, senator uh, Strada, may I yes. just... Uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, President. One, one statement. Kung lahat man ito, kung totoo, palayan niyo ako ng kaso. May korte. At sinasabi ninyo na bakit ninyo nalaman na matay na ganun-ganun. So, ibig sabihin may witnesses kayo. O, yung file the, the case in court. Or file the cases in court. Sabi ko nga dito sa ano ko, mine and mine alone. Gusto ko ang syudad ko maganda, malinis, at livable. At sa awa ng Diyos, ako ang nauna sa Pilipinas. Alam mo bakit, sir? Ako po ay empleyado lang ng gobyerno. I started as a prosecutor. Kaya kapa ko yung kriminalo, pati yung mga criminals. That is why, Mr. President, I was asking uh, during the, my line of questioning a while ago addressed to uh, former Senator De Lima, why did she not file cases when she was the head of the Commission on Human Rights? She investigated, allegedly, the DDS, if there is a right term for it. She did not, she did not file any cases. You were present, Mr. President, when I think when... Uh, when uh, Senator De Lima, or uh, when she was the chair then of uh, the CHR, you were present during the investigation, if I am not mistaken, Mr. President. And, yes, sir. And the, the, the President, when I asked him, uh, uh, denied that there was an existence of uh, the Davao uh, Death Squad. My, my question lang, uh, Senator De Lima, why, bakit hindi kayo nag-file ng mga kaso kung talagang naniniwala po kayo na meron ho talagang death squad? Why did you not file cases immediately Nasag when he was just still a mayor? Yes, Your Honor. Nasagot ko na po yun. Hindi mo nga Dahil sinasagot yung mga, eh. yung mga pwede talagang mga maging witnesses ay hindi pa willing, takot pa na mag-testify against the, the former mayor. All right. When you were Secretary of Justice, you had all the power. You were a very, very powerful cabinet member, member under the Aquino administration. Why did you not pursue it? Because at that time, Wala na nga akong nagiging resulta nung mga nagiging investigasyon din.